Bowls again. Though. That's yeah, only lost go. to Snook so far in this bracket. That's pretty good. That's the first seed of the tournament. Like, that's oh, oh, and we're we into here it. We oh, here my go. God. Ball Blaster going all in to start this game. Yeah. Both, both these guys, very strong competitors. This is, I, I think we can crown the winner of this, the second best James in Ireland, can we? <laughs> you wish, buddy. <laughs> uh, no, Jimbo will react to a, a strong start. Oh, I love the patience there. We're delaying the back here and then catching the end of the spot dodge. Yeah. Yeah, uh, James, a player who's really good at putting openings in neutral. I think playing Snook and Sulky and John Barrett for years, yeah. he just has really good awareness as a player. Like, just good game sense, good knowledge yeah. of his timing and everything that he's looking for. I'm always so impressed by how he just finds like like openings. Because, yeah. you know, Mario especially can get walled out into matchups like this, and he does it really well. Yeah. Just, and I, I think we should establish, you know, the start of the set here. We will be calling James, James. And we'll be calling James 102 Jimbo, J Jimbo just, yeah. for, just so that we're not confusing the two of them. Oh. Jimbo there gets the first stall Come on, Jimbo. with the back air. Yeah, chat. People are gonna no one's going to know what we're talking about. You no, know, Roy. Roy. No, uh, no, we'll stick to Jimbo. Or we Jimmy. Oh, oh Fireball's going to do sniped, it. Get sniped, get sniped. Have one of those, you wee, you wee prick. I'm going to call Jimbo wee prick. prick. Fuck this guy. Give Mushy's got no idea what's going on in Twitch chat. I'm really enjoying what, what Roy's on about. Uh, as Jimbo's got him in the corner, down throw Ness, 70% already on James, but gets clipped by the up B. Yeah, Jimbo playing really well to start off here. here. I know he was, uh, you know, coming off a little bit of a, a momentum staller against Ev yeah. in his, his winner's side set, uh, did lose. Was playing Cloud in that set, which I've never seen the Jimbo Cloud come out before. But the last time he came out was against Ebb at an Aswan, and oh, he great. did beat Ebb at that Aswan, I think, game five. Oh, okay, so apparently there is some logic in it. Yeah, like um, I was discussing him and he was talking about how, like, at long term, like, Cloud is the plan for Steve. He doesn't believe in Roy Steve. Yeah, fair enough to him, fair enough to him. Oh, he's been caught there. Yeah. Oh, that all came off a really horrendous counter from Jim Jimbo. He went off and tried to counter, and it didn't end well for him at all. Mate. We're shit, mate. You are shit, mate, Jimbo. Um, and, that, and James was able to convert it all the way up into the stock. Oh, and did you see that? That dash attack was lovely. Beautiful. Just, oh, it's such a nice dash attack. I love watching Mario. I'm a big Mario fan. Yeah, Mario's a cool character. Every move is a combo starter, which is fucked, but it's like it's like ridiculous. I know. It's, Mario's really fun to watch in the matchups he's fun in. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes he's really miserable because... He's on Yoshi's and he's fighting like a heavy. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jimbo kind of flubbing the punisher a little bit there. Really should be looking to clean those up here. 163 yeah. here. You don't see people live this far against Roy very often. Yeah. R Roy has surprising kind of arthritis sometimes. In matchups, I think you can fall into a trap. Also, nice close out there from Jimbo. Yeah. But uh, I think you can fall into a trap where you're focused so much on this walling out as a character that you forget it. you don't necessarily get the sweet spots as much right so you could be winning yeah. neutral consistently and in your head you're just going to keep winning neutral that's what you think it will work yeah but unless you're focusing on the kills sometimes you just won't kill to like 180 of this character no i i, I can totally see the vision there Vince. i can totally see what you're on about does get caught by the up air there Gemma made it back into neutral there but taken 91 percent a bit of a mountain to climb here but gets the fair nair yeah and oh the nair actually taxes this the dangerous thing about this is that james has given jimbo rage and Roy with Rage could kill him oh, at any very point. soon. And, and if you're near the ledge in PS2, you're going to die. So already. Yeah, so good recovery there from Jimbo. Goes lower, voice the Flood. Oh, does tomahawk. get out of the Tomahawk. Yeah. Oh! oh. But I'm too not. close with that jab there, yeah. and he gets up so much of his trouble. See, that's exactly it, right? Like, he could have spaced that correctly, and that would have been safe on the up smash, but he couldn't have killed off it. And that's the issue, right? Like, he has to decide whether he wants to stay safe against Mario, or else he's going to go in where Mario is stronger, up close, and get his sweet spots, and that's the tough thing. I think he's gonna be really smart, and when he chooses to go for the sour spot, or the sweet spots here. Yeah, that is that is kind of the fundamental, you know, concept of right at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah. Is that uh, you know, you're sacrificing those, uh, you know, spacing and distance for the uh, the strong hit. You know yeah, what I mean? exactly. Yeah, exactly. For the explosiveness. Yeah, I guess one one of the few advantages of Krom, I guess, is these kind of matchups where you can kind of, you know, you can you can you have that consistent sword. Yeah. Now. You know, I'm thinking even from like a Lucino or a Marth perspective there, yeah. you know what I mean? Or it's, yeah, they're kind of the same character. Yeah, like know? I feel like Marth wouldn't have a problem because he's, when he's spacing, he gets rewarded. Yeah, Whereas the like, and, and in this matchup, you want to wall out Mario, you want to space. Um, I've, done the, I've done the score wrong again. James. I can't, oh, I've done it wrong again. I can't be allowed, I shouldn't be allowed anywhere near the laptop, boys. We should top seats, to be honest. Three I'm kind of leaning over you, James. Nah, that's right, we're, we're chilling. I'm leaning in. 
Oh, catches the jump there. Jimbo off to it. Why, why is oh. everyone... Jesus. Everyone's getting out to me. Yeah, everyone's having to go to fence like it wasn't Aye, really. we're fucking James. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wrong man. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh, jab lock. Catch oh. the edge in. That was lovely. The patience, I love it. But Jimbo gets down with the upper. Uh, back in, not going to do it yet. Sour spot. Oh, good stall there with the backwards cave. I like, I, I like the way he did it backwards as well because it hurtbox shifts him a little bit away. Yeah. Keeps him out of Jimbo's threat range. Big back air catches the jump, but makes it back to stage safely. A oh, good option there from Jimbo. Knows James is being patient. He's like, if you're being reactive, I'm going to be proactive. I'm just going to swing. Yeah, I've got exactly. my sword. I'm, I'm going to unreactively swing, and you're going to have to. That is going to do it as well. There, Jimbo off to the lead there in this game. Uh, with the up off the top. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And that is a nice closer, I think, especially in Ma Max's a stubby character like this. Like, that really, once you get to 180, if you haven't gotten that kill, it's a nice ender for you. Yeah, especially against uh, Mario, who wants to land on your shield a lot. Yeah. With, you know, those aerials that lead to his... <gasps> oh, my God, he's nearly got another one. Oh, yeah, that up going to catch a lot of stocks, but... Jimbo, back yet? No, he goes to the side B. Oh, and James out of there. But still, nearly 100% put on here by Jimbo. Oh, I love these air dodge reads from, you, from James. He's so patient, and I have to see if Jimbo will adapt to this, because he's been called for it a lot. Yeah, it's it's the kind of thing where it's like you can you can go with that little true combo and get less reward, mm. but James is deciding, you know, I'm going to go for this, you know, risk not getting my, my guaranteed damage, yeah. and I'm going to react to what you do, your defensive option, and punish it even harder. Yeah. It's just, again, a match like this, right, where you're not actually being control the whole time, I'd rather have a chance, instead of getting guaranteed 5%, I'd rather have a chance of getting a stock. Yeah. You know, because if you're not winning neutral that often, let's make a count whenever you do win neutral. Exactly. You know? It's about that risk-reward factor, and James is playing it really well right now. Okay, okay. Does get caught by the back air, though. Yeah, and Jimbo definitely looking much more confident in this game. Oh, we get the grab. Uh, forward throw there, I like the intention, but doesn't quite come off. Yeah. Now landing up air from Jimbo, this is good damage, potentially. Wasn't ready for like, how much of a fastball Roy is, I think. Okay, though, gets the forward air jab. Oh. Another forward air. I like this uh, advantage there. Oh, and the oh, back air is going to do it. What a game from Jimbo. Very well. And Jimbo there. Run it back, run it back. Run it back. That was an incredible play yeah. from Jimbo. Whack up the head to head there, actually. I wanted to have a look at it. Jimbo won at Kingdom and, and on Wi Fi. On Wi Fi. So they, they've only played one offline set before, and it was Kingdom 5, top 24. Jimbo, Jimbo took it. Yeah, Jimbo. Yeah, Jim's got a seventh of that event, and Jimbo got fifth, I believe. Um, no, Jimbo got four. Because he lost to Odie, who got third. Oh. Back to PS2 here. Um, yeah, James did well here. I don't know, we're getting PS2 last time, aren't we? We've been PS2 all the way through. Yeah. We need to update the score because it is 1 1. I've updated the score. Oh, oh, there we go. Done it correctly this time. Although I wouldn't consider James being someone who has too much Rory practice, I would say he plays against a lot of Sodies, right? Like, he plays Salki more than anyone. Yeah. Um, so you've got, like, the Corn, you've got the Aegis, you've got... Mm -hmm. um, even, like, characters like Pally, you've got, like, Sorty elements. Yeah, and in general, it's it's not as if Roy is this kind of, like, huge matchup check, you know what I mean? In the sense that he's quite intuitive, oh. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's If you've got good game sense, like James does, you can pretty pretty quickly work out Roy. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised Jim made it back there. It was a really excellent recovery to make it back to stage there. Um, and now just playing some neutral. Yeah, I'm loving how Jimbo was just Oh, nice roll read. Jimbo's just been like chasing James but not pulling the trigger, which I really liked, and just putting pressure on him. Yeah, he's maintaining that distance where he is within, you know, James like threat range, but yeah. James isn't. Um, so he's like, I'm going to get in your face and you're going to be under pressure and you're going to have to do something. Yeah, I'm going to make you make the mistake. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, oh, full there from Jimbo. Does get grabbed here though. Who's going to take this first start? Oh, oh, well, yeah, catch that there. And, yeah, honestly, it's even oh, so far. Oh, goes to the slide and F-Hill. Doesn't connect any other down arrow shield, going to do it. So the match position here, this is going to be good for Jimbo. Can he close the stock out? Oh, big grab, here we go. Oh. The notorious Jimbo corner pressure here coming into full effect. Yeah, definitely one of Jimbo's greatest strengths recently. He's really just gotten so good at the, at the oh. corner pressure that I'm trapping. Here we go, ledge re grab here, gets oh. down it. Yeah, he oh. bounces all the way off the stage, off the top. Yeah, good awareness from Jimbo there. Takes the stock with down it just about. That's, that's you know when he had the top there, you can tell it was like just a percent oh. as well. Yeah, know? he like just, just had enough in him. But uh, you know, good awareness there from Jimbo to uh, punish it and uh, even oh. up the stock. James DK, James DK was really the exact Tech chase option, not tech chase, but like get up option. Yeah. yeah. He's not been able to push it as far as he would have liked, though. Jimbo answering back here with a small lead. Yeah. 
Made the jump there. Oh, and yeah, makes a good landing there from James back to neutral. Nice up be out of shield there, though, punishing the unsafe uh, Roy aerials. Again, th this game's been super close. I feel like the first two games was a lot of, you know, someone was in the lead. Yeah. Whereas this game has been very back and forth. Yeah, the neutral has been dead even. They've just been going at us. I think they've both been playing a lot more patient this game as well. Mm, yeah. And that's like the new wave of Roy, right? There's some people were talking about it, the flow and things like that. Like, yeah. I, I, like this is the way you can play Roy. He's really fast. He's got really good like defensive wall and hitboxes with the down tilt and the jab and things like that. Like you can play very defensive Roy. That's yeah. all you want to do is well. you don't want to let Mario get in. So like, I think no, this is a good adaptation for people. If you have to scrap with Mario, you're at a disadvantage. Yeah. So you want to be able to make him make the plays. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize for the loud noises. Yeah, Jude Darwin screaming at children. I'm not screaming at children, I'm just screaming at <laughs> 18 year old child kid. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, two two oh gets oh. the trump and catches him holding down in. there. That's new one. But Jimbo barely living here. Jimbo doing a lot of these like close to stage or yeah, these down low, so it's like fireball. Oh, and the turnaround side B that kills you off the side of the stage. Jimbo now into a lead a little bit, see if he can uh, yeah. add some extra credit here or if he's going to get evened up. Yeah, James is trying to find an option here, but Jimbo I think is playing really well defensively. James is not even able to get close to getting a situation. James is kind of walking around, not sure what to do with himself. Eventually oh, still in the back air. Oh, air dodge, but not dead yet. Mario got a good recovery. Swinging with a forward smash there, yeah. I think was the start up there, but Jimbo aware of it and now really putting on the pressure here, adding on that extra credit. Big grab. Yeah. Jimbo on driver's seat right now, like James really can't figure out what he's going to do. Oh, nice side B. James still going for the kill. Oh, that landing down air hitbox. Thought you could have got something off that, but no conversion. Goes oh. for the forward air. Doesn't kill. Yeah, no, Jimbo's yeah. really looking great here now. He's been able to put the pressure on. He does get caught by the up air from the ledge, but that's not really going to phase him, I don't think. Yeah, I, I think James was looking for the kill a lot there instead of just playing neutral, and that made him do a lot worse in the neutral. I think now, hopefully, he'll start to regain a bit of momentum, but we'll see. But he's, he's got such a mountain to climb here. Yeah. Okay. Does get a little bit of a combo here, though. Yeah, too low percent for a big combo there. Mario definitely gets going a bit later on. Yeah, that's one thing I would say, is that his kind of general combo style has been to wait and then do something. You know yeah. what I mean? But at, at, at these kind of situations, you need to be going for that, that true Mario, you know, ladder stuff. Yeah, you can't really even, afford to wait. Even, you know, you, know you, you don't have the... the advantage enough to be kind of playing on guesses. Yeah. I have a really like Jimbo's movement here as well. Ooh, really hard. Like, James can get a straight fireball or something, but it's not going to get anything yeah. substantial. 149% here. You must think he's very close to death now. Gets caught by the forward air. I found Jimbo on chilling, you know? Like, I'm winning neutral. I'm keeping him out. I like that forward air. Down tilt. Yeah, and there's the side we're going to do it. it. Jimbo takes the lead in the set. 2-1. Congratulations to Jimbo. And a nice... Comfortable game, three out of eight. That was really the most comfortable game so far. Um, he's looking really strong. I think he's really figuring out in the neutral. Um, chat's asking for the James for James DK DK. Um, might see it. He's no. He's give, he, he's giving me the no sign. That's not happening, folks. That's not happening. No, no DK. R Ridley. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos says Rid Ridley. We know about the Jimbo DK history. He says he's put it behind him, but I don't believe him. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm going to be really interested to see how that happens. It's a hard boy. Um, yeah, I'm big to you. I I, I, oh no, it's PS2 all the games. It's, it's, it's been PS2 the, the entire time. time. But I really feel like Jimbo's been using stage a lot more. He's just been like running away much more. And kind of like, James has to chase him. And it's like, what's he doing? He's swinging back here, maybe? Like, how's he yeah. running in against Roy, you know? Like, James is really just like taking a lot of space. Not just that sword range. Uh -huh. He's like, He's taking that extra like double roll distance kind of spacing and it's helping him realize. Yeah, like. he's not even I don't think the way he's playing the matchup is even really abusing the fact that Roy is disjoining as Mario. Yeah. He's just abusing how fast Roy is. Exactly, right? Because it is a faster character and you can cap him that way, you don't need the sword. Yeah, especially if he if he stays really grounded as well, he's just able to just scuttle away from him, you know what I mean? Yeah, and if James wants to read the dash backs, he has to commit much harder and then he can get a sweet spot. So instead of trying to go on this whole game of just yeah. sweet spot or so sour spot on shield, is it? Does get caught know. by the dash attack there though. This could be a stock. No, he makes it back. Would like to have seen James there maybe go a little bit more adventurous, go off stage, try and uh, push Jimbo all the well, way there. What does Mario do in that situation? When they're in front of you, you can oh. cave. You can cave. You can. Uh, yeah, I suppose when they're below you, it's kind of hard to line it up, right? Yeah. Um, 
Jimbo ends up getting the first stock there off a nice re-edge guard of his own. Good reaction there from James. Of course. Yeah, he's, like, he's getting three hits. Charge out smash and neutral. Yeah, and he's going to need a punish for that. Jimbo doesn't get hit by those. Yeah, I really feel like Jimbo just figured me out the neutral. No, like Jimbo lost that first game and you thought maybe James was cooking something here, but I think Jimbo's really figured out a lot of what he's going for here and he's playing really well now. Yeah, like as Jimbo has figured it out, James has gotten more desperate about and went for more random and kill moves. Yeah. Okay, next to grab there, it's good. Try to two twister. Big uh, big lead now for Jimbo even still. Gets oh, the back air off the ledge drop. Nice. James now on his tournament stock. I uh whole stop ahead there for Jimbo, he's looking so confident. It's just it's really good that James has gotten going. Or he, like, he, he got the first stock off eventually. But there was no like moment where like James is on fire. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been a lot of every kind of the last few stocks he's taken has been like, you know it's only happened it's not been like a consistent game plan, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just been kind of oh, he got it because he just happened to get it, you know yeah. what I mean? It's not been like a, I can see him going on to win this game. Yeah. It's like, oh, he just took a stock because Jimbo's not Free stocking him, you know what I mean? I, I mean maybe that's an advantage. Uh, just an advantage, a kind of more natural kind of awareness play style of James. Like that works well in certain situations, but in terms of overall game plan, Jimbo was clearly figured something out, right? Yeah. On a more like macro sense. Okay, so uh, James still got a little bit something going here, but he is at 100 percent now, near nearly. Yeah, I mean James, is, Jimbo is just not giving up the the bad disadvantage options anymore. So James is really just not getting much of his control. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so James was getting all his punishes off Jimbo's mistakes and his advantage, yeah. but if, if if Jimbo's not giving them, yeah. what's James's like? Sh you know, yeah. where's he getting his kills? Yeah, like I don't blame James for that aren't smashed off the tech chase there, but like because like dash that wouldn't have killed. Like how many S messages he just thrown out? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Gets the grab here, but it's it's not gonna be. You know, gets him in the corner, gets the flood. Hard one, yeah, yeah. Up, yeah. up be out of the corner here and. James very close to losing his If he wants to avoid that LP, like he's got to play so far away, and you, just, that, you don't want to do that against Roy, like even Roy Mariner, you know. Big grab hit. Jumbo getting close to that nice grab. grab being a kill move. 160 percent. Oh, uh, catches him setting the lane. Yeah. Yeah. Very well played from Jimbo there. Great adaptation. Really took control of the set as a return. Um, and I believe we're going to be getting Snook versus. Sam on stream next. Or did Sam lose? Not Sam won. Sam, Sam, Sam won. Sam, Sam won, yeah. The Snook Sam, a classic. Classic set. Classic <laughs> corpse set here. So, so true, so true. Um, I like the try cast. Yeah, I, you, I mean, you don't have. I need to set up more screens better. I just didn't have the capture card when I was setting it up, but like, you need to show the game to the commentators just forget to put the game on all the time, you know? Yeah. 